Growing up, I had a absent alcoholic father and a paranoid schizophrenic mother. Because of that, I didn't start school until I was eight, going on nine years old. So I didn't know how to read until I was probably about 10. Growing up, we, we never had a solid foundation. My mom never had work, so it was either we were at people's houses that we knew, or it was cars, uh, motels, most of my life, and then finally in a tent on a cul-de-sac. In that time, my mom was still going through her you know, mental illness, and that was a challenge on her and also on me. And so the state found it necessary to uh, take me out of her placement. So the Dream Center is a 20-year-old, give or take, foundation that helps people that are in need, that helps people find stability. So we sought out that program. So every weekend or every Saturday, they have a program called Adopt the Block. So they go out to different project communities where they go to different areas in LA and they, again, they help out food, they play with their kids. In the same way that the Dream Center helped me, in the same way that I've been helped, and I, I feel that I was able to give back, and it's, it's the same thing with a university. When they instill and they, and they give to their students, you're gonna see a multiplication of that. You're gonna see a reciprocation of that from the students and, and also from the community. It was a big challenge in my life coming here, and the experiences that I've been through has been very challenging, but I know this isn't the only challenge I'm gonna face in life. I'm gonna have other obstacles and other barriers to jump over and other walls to climb over. But because of CSUN and because of the education I got here, I think I'm better able to tackle them and to face those oppositions with confidence.